Hi, kindergartners. Mrs. Wallstrand back again. Today we're talking about number five. And again, we are working on our Anos counting book. We are practicing writing the number five, and then we're going to draw a group of five objects. So let's start with Anos counting book. Here is our numerical five over here and our five blocks. Let's count them together. Get those fingers ready. One, two, three, four, five. And we notice that we're about halfway up. And um, once we get to the top, it will make 10. That's right. In my Anos Counting Book picture, I am looking for groups of five. And remember, they might not all be right next to each other, so you'll have to be a detective. And some of the ones that I see right away, just like yesterday, I see the five buildings. One, two, three, four, five. I also see the five trees. One, two, three, four, five. I see another kind of tree. This kind of tree has leaves. It's not like our evergreen pine trees. And I can count one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm gonna hold this up for you. Can you find five train cars or ducks or grown-ups? What else can you find that is five? Feel free to pause the video now. Okay. All right, now <clears throat> we're gonna make the number five with our pencils. <coughs> Again, I'll show you in marker first, a little bit bigger, and then we will do our pencils on our worksheet page. So again, getting that nice strong grip with our pinchers down close to the bottom. We're gonna start at the top, just like always. We're gonna go little line down, and then we're gonna do a little curve. We'll come back up to our dot, and we'll do a line over. So we'll go down, around, back up, and over. Some people like to go over, down, and around, and that would be okay too. So you could start, um, I'm gonna move my dot for that style. Um, you could go over, down and around. Both ways would be fine, just making sure we're staying at the top line all the way down to the bottom. Um, making sure that the curve part is from the dotted line down and the line part is from the top line to the midline. Now over here for my number five page, I'm going to start at the dot. I'm going to go down, around, and over, down, around, over. Or I could go over, down, and around. I'm gonna keep going this way. And I'm um, really watching to make sure we keep a nice grip. It's a lot of fives and our fingers might get tired, but we can do it, okay? The only way we get better at hard things is if we keep practicing. Now I'm to the last one. If I was in school, I would raise my hand to show my teacher, um, or you can show your grown up at home too. Hey, look, I can make a five the right way. Start at the dot, down, around, and over at the top. Now I'm gonna go back and I like to circle my favorite one and be proud of some of the great work that I'm doing. Um, I like this one the best, so I'm gonna circle that one. I bet you have lots of great ones to choose from. And finally at the bottom, I'm gonna be doing my groups of five. So um, I did suns, I've done hearts. Um, this time I think I'm gonna do trees. And you can get as creative as you want with these, up to you. Um, I like to encourage crayons for the picture and not a pencil, um, just so we're practicing all of those tools at home. So if I were gonna draw five trees, I would make sure I counted them. Here's one, two, three, four, and I'll do a littler one down here, that's five, and then I would draw my trunks. 
and you could make it as detailed as you wanted to. But don't forget to go back and practice counting. One, two, three, four, five. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week for more math. Have a great day.